Hey, it's Gus from Palmer Life Up, and today I'll be doing a brief tutorial on installing the Chromium operating system to the Raspberry Pi. Now, this is a great alternative to Raspbian, offering a fast and secure experience for anyone who browses the internet a lot. I should mention that this port of Chromium is a work in progress, and at the time of this video, has quite a few issues. So if you want a flawless experience, you might want to wait a bit. They are constantly working on it and has come quite a long way in just a few months. You can find their official website over at chromiumos or sbc.org. I should also mention that this will only work with a Raspberry Pi 2 or 3 and also requires a 16GB SD card. So let's get to it. Firstly we need to get the latest version of the Chromium OS. To make things easy head over to PyMyLifeUp.com and find the Chromium OS tutorial. Here scroll down to the link to the Chromium OS for all SBC. On this page scroll down to downloads and find the latest version for your Pi. For example Chromium RPI 3 is for the Raspberry Pi 3. Once downloaded, you'll need to unzip the file. If you don't have any zipping tools installed, I suggest something like 7-zip if you're using Windows. Mac, you should be able to double click on it and it should unzip. Next, you'll need a formatting tool. Head back to Pi My Life Up and find the link to download the SD formatter. Click on it and then download the version relevant to your operating system. Once downloaded, Simply go through the installation process. Once installed, insert the SD card into your PC and check the drive letter allocated for it, for example, G. Now open up the SD formatter and select the drive letter in the required field. Once confirmed that is all correct, press Format. Now that's done, we need to install the image onto the SD card. To do this, head back to Pi My Life Up and find the link to the Win32 Disk Imager and download this. Once downloaded, simply install it. Now open up the Win32 Disk Imager and select the image we extracted earlier. It is also super important that you make sure the drive letter is correct, as you don't want to be wiping a random drive. Once you have confirmed everything is correct, click on Write. Once it is done, simply eject and remove the SD card from the computer. Now we're ready to insert the SD card into the Raspberry Pi and boot it up. Booting up is a pretty easy process, but I will quickly go through it. If you have ever owned a Chromebook before, then the process is pretty much exactly the same. When you first boot up, you'll be presented with a screen asking for your language, keyboard type, and the network you will be using. When I wrote this tutorial, the Wi-Fi wasn't fully supported, so I suggested that you use Ethernet. I did try Wi-Fi, but I found there were some weird issues with it. Next you'll be asked to sign into your Google account. If you don't wish to do this, you can continue as a guest. However, nothing will be personalized to you and you will still need to log in to your Google account if you want access to all your Google stuff. If you log in, it will sync your preferences and then you can start using the Chromium operating system like normal. I have found that sometimes it gets itself stuck in an endless loop trying to sync your preferences. A simple reboot will fix this. Now, as I mentioned earlier, this is a work in progress and will contain issues that might be a little annoying if you want a flawless experience. If you do want a flawless experience, it's probably best to wait a little. Once you're all done, you can start setting up all your web apps and anything else you would like to. Now, since I reinstalled the OS quite a few times, I found that once I wrote the image to the SD card, it will disappear completely from File Explorer. This is really annoying if you need to wipe or reinstall a different operating system. I'll just quickly run through the steps that will get it back into a working condition. Either search and open disk part, or open up run and enter disk part. Inside the terminal window, enter list volume. It should show something like this. Your volume will have no label and have a size of roughly 121 megabytes and the type should be removable. Now be careful in these next few steps as you will be wiping the drive. Enter the following to select the drive you wish to wipe. Select volume 7. 
Now don't forget to chain 7 to your drive. Now simply write clean emission reset BSD card. It will spit out an error saying access denied. You can safely ignore this and you should now be able to see your drive in File or Explorer. Now run the SD formatter and it will now be accessible and can be used for whatever you want. I hope you have been able to get the Raspberry Pi Chromium operating system to work correctly. If you come across any problems or anything else that you would like to say, please feel free to leave a comment below or over at PyMyLifeUp.com. Until next time, have a good one. Looking for more Pi projects to do? Check out these 21 awesome Pi projects that anyone can do. Don't forget to subscribe so you can stay up to date with the latest and greatest projects, guides and much more.